What is the difference between diffusion and active transport? Let's see. Diffusion is basically a random movement of molecules. During diffusion, there is a net movement of a substance down its electrochemical gradient. For example, here the concentration of this substance is high outside the cell than inside. So diffusion leads to net movement from outside to inside. It can occur through the lipid bilayer itself if a substance is lipid soluble. Lipid insoluble substances diffuse through carrier proteins that penetrate the lipid bilayer. For diffusion, no extra energy is required. The electrochemical gradient itself is enough to drive the movement. In simple words, diffusion is like rocks falling from the top of the mountain. It happens without requiring energy from outside. But what if we want to move the rocks back up to the top? They cannot move on their own, right? And that's where active transport comes in. By actively transporting, we can move the rock from the base to the top of the mountain. Similarly for the cell, substances cannot move against an electrochemical gradient on their own. If needed, they are moved in such direction actively by transport proteins. Such active transport requires energy from external sources, for example ATPs. So these are the differences between diffusion and active transport. A quick summary. In diffusion, the substance moves down the electrochemical gradient through a lipid bilayer or transport proteins without requiring energy from an external source. Whereas in active transport, the substance is moved against an electrochemical gradient by a transport protein using energy from an external source. That's it for this video. Click here to read the notes on this video at our website. You can also explore our entire physiology animation video library over there. To support my free content creation, first leave a nice comment and then share the video with all your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.